Assalamu alaikum and a very good day to all of you. In this video, I'm going to share how I create this Bitmoji virtual classroom in Canva and it'll take you less than five minutes to do it. So let's dive in. Okay, we're going to start with this design. What we're going to do first is we're going to create a blank slide. I'm going to click on that. And then this is going to change that to white. White, okay. And we have a blank slide here. We're going to go to templates. And in here, we're going to search for virtual classroom. That's the first one, the first hit. You see a lot of uh, scenes here. It's amazing, I think. That's the thing in Canva that I really like. Is you have a number of scenes here that you can then customize further to suit your online classes. And it's it's um, really fun because um, you know something different, something really interesting for your students, for yourself. You will spice up your classroom further by making things more interesting. Let's uh, choose one. Um, I'm going to use the same design here. So I'm going to choose this one. Go back to the slide. Click on this. So we have that already. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to customize this further accordingly. I'm going to remove that chair. Uh, and then in this part, I'm going to actually, um, you know, shift that table to the to this uh, one side so here i'm going to click on shift and to move it as a group you can group it together if you want to as well and put it on the side make it fit so that i can see clearly i'm going to remove that shelf going to remove the it's really up to you i'm going to just show what i did with it remove that that leave the remove the table that leave the um, particular uh, pot I'm going to change the color so this look, looks something really simple oops that's not really what I wanted maybe let's leave it Okay, so I'm going to let you leave it as it is, like that, more or less. Maybe like that, okay. So we have the basic template already. So I'm going to go to Bitmoji. I'm going to go click on this. I'm going to right click, copy image. Go back to my design and then paste it. All right, there you go. So I'm going to... Go to position, press forward, so it's up there, up really in the, f the first layer. Gonna actually shift it again, I haven't really do it well. Okay, that's, that's done. Just now the text was actually in, in front. And then what I do is I go to elements. I search for sofa. You can actually choose what you like really it's really up to you it's your virtual classroom scene um, so i'm gonna choose this one can i go right there of course this particular video is going to be longer than five minutes because i'm explaining as i do the design so um, i'm gonna head to this and then uh, let's just position that to backwards hmm. you can change the color here to suit the color scheme accordingly but I'm gonna leave it there for, for this time being and then let's just move it that's that's me I'm gonna just move it straight to the front crop it a little bit so that we can have a bit of space there okay that's good fantastic you can see also a bit of shadow and you can remove this using background remover 
Okay, I'll put in the link in the description um, below. Yeah? And next I do because I have this parrot here. Uh, so I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to parrot. Really nice ones here. You can just go through. Have a funny one as well. Maybe this one. Let's, let's try this one. This is quite cool. Looks cool. You can have it there. And then I'm going to just there you go looks nice this one you can't change the color though there's no color at all here so you can go through have a look which one you like here okay and then um, what's next is I have the easel here gonna go for the easel really really interesting um, very easy to work in Canva as well because um, they have millions of um, graphics that you can choose from uh, the main thing is to find the right the right keyword to find the graphics I think uh, out of the millions of assets they have in Canva so um, I can click on this this is free you can choose that put it on the side here and you can put whatever you want and in here you can always customize it further to suit your class the dates the quotation the agenda or you know you can ask them what to read and what to watch um, the assignment as well and you can of course you can you can go to the text in here for example and you can click on the text click on these three dots and what you see is this link and I'm gonna just put in my you can link anything Google Drive Google document Google um, you know spreadsheet okay um, Mentimeter anything with a with a link Kahoot anything with a link so I'm gonna put down here my um, website apply there okay so the the ones with the underline is actually a link and what they do when you actually share this um, virtual classroom scene with your students or co-worker they can just simply click on the link and they can, it'll take them to the uh, website or to the survey uh, or questionnaire or quiz uh, so here I'm pretty much done um, you can customize this further if you want to yeah you can change the elements at the back here all right you can put it on the side here okay and even on the on this particular interior you can change it further so example if I don't like the color of the flooring I can just click on this and I can click on something gray a bit lighter okay that's nice you know you can click on the walls as well and change the color further to something like that or maybe something like blue so it's really up to you how you want it to to be yeah? with a, just a few uh, touches here and there um, you have already your lesson plan uh, you can then customize this particular scene further into your own virtual class which is something like this and is really really nice um, when you share it with your students or your co-worker let me then share with you how you can use this further so the first way is you can um, if you see here you can actually see you can download it straight away as a PNG JPEG PDF and so on this is not really what we want because we want this um, particular link example here I'm gonna just click on that let me just okay because you want that particular link to be active when you share this document um, 
in here you can see that i have put an images you can also do the same just click on an image and you can go to the link and you can do the same thing yeah so here i have a youtube uh, link there what we want to do is we can then present it um you can present straight away when you actually use zoom webex or google meet for example you can present it uh, on your screen as you go through with your uh, students um, you can just uh, click on the particular um, link for example i'm gonna just click on this one it'll take me to a youtube video yeah so that's nice um, you can then uh, watch a video together with your students with your colleague if it's something important and then you can uh, discuss it further after the video and you can go back there go back to this one and, and another way let me just go out of this scene just press escape to go out of it is to click on these three dots again here you have a wider selection of how you can share this uh, virtual classroom scene just now we have seen present you can download as well you can present a record and share the link with your students you can share the link straight away in here so you can share the link in google classroom in any e-learning model for example with your students and you can click on that and they can just see it as a like a website the one that i really want to share with you is this particular feature sharing it as a microsoft powerpoint let's have a look click on this you choose this is page two i'm going to choose that only we have more of course you can um, download everything that you want or select the slides accordingly so done and then download it i've already done that so let's have a look at the uh, file the file is very similar to the one that you have in canva if you see there's um, a few things that probably you need to um, change here and there uh, but otherwise it's pretty much very little uh, editing required from you to use it as a powerpoint and if you see as well what is fantastic that's why i love canva is that you can change all this you know you can change all these um, elements as you like even the bird as well this is actually a good upgrade from before i think about last year that now the fonts are embedded in the powerpoint so you don't have to scramble and you know go through and find the particular font that you really want so it's already there in powerpoint uh, as an embedded font so that's that's really cool and you can edit it further before you do um, uh, a zoom um, session like that and you can just play it as usual and it looks fantastic right so that's a quick and easy way to create a bitmoji virtual classroom scene in canva i hope with this uh, video you'd find that it's really really um easy to to make a virtual classroom click like or subscribe let me know what you want to learn more about canva or other presentation apps so i see you in the next tutorial